Hello guys, this is Renalyn Mimonson from BSCS 3 ADM and welcome to our class CSDM5 Algorithms for Data Mining. So ito yung aking code sa logistic regression to create confusion matrix. So meron tayong tatlong algorithm na gagawin para sa pag-create ng confusion matrix at alamin natin kung ano ang mas better performance sa kanilang tatlo. So for me, ay yung support vector machine. So, in the next videos, may papakita ko yung mga code ko sa KNN and SVM. And also, this one, which is logistic regression. So, babasahin ko na lang lahat ng mga code ko, which is tapos naman na lahat. I-upload natin yung ating Google Drive sa ating Google Collab. already mounted and then explore data so ito yung ating data set which is nasa google drive natin and nasa google collab na so dev.head so lima lang yung nagpapakita kasi 5 rows 5 rows lang kailangan ng df.head ito ang code para sa pagpapakita ng 5 rows lang ng ating data set then split data into training test set Ayan. and creating the data frames for training and test data sets since the data is already split into train and test data set load the x or load the values into x train x test y train and y test okay so ito naman yung kanyang y test dot head data exploration the SNS count plot Ayan. so 0 and 202 so ito yung ating mga code import libraries features and settings built in collab with local data upload So, in-upload natin yung Google Drive natin sa ating Google Collab. And then, ito yung ating data set. Which is, ito. Age, estimated salary, and purchase. Ito yung kanyang head. Or yung 5 rows ng ating data set. And then, split data into train test set. Saka natin mag-create ng data frames for training and test data sets. para sa pag-split ng train and test data sets natin. So, ito na siya. Ito yung kanyang white test of head. Data exploration, which is ito. So, meron tayong 0, 206, and 1, 114. Sa graphic naman, yung data frame niya, which is ito. So, 0 ay 206 and 1 is 114. So, kakount natin yung no purchase and new purchase. So, ito yung kanyang percentage. Percentage of no purchase. is 64.375 and percentage of purchase is 35.625 ito yung pag-group natin and so ito yung kanyang 0 and the 1 so development and prediction ito yung kanyang code which is using the logistic regression and to evaluate model using confusion matrix ito so ayan na siya array niya. And the visualization of confusion matrix which is ito yung kanyang code. And the class names natin which is 0 and 1. And magkakrate tayo ng heat map. So ito na ang kanyang confusion matrix. So napapansin niya dito ang kanyang false negative ay 114 at ang kanyang true negative ay 206.
So ito naman sa pag-evaluate matrix natin sa accuracy, precision, and recall. So napapansin natin na accuracy niya ay 0.64375. So ito lang ang code ko sa logistic regression. Ito naman ang code ko sa KNN at sa pag uh, at sa paggawa ng confusion matrix. Ito naman yung code ko sa pag-create ng confusion matrix using KNN. So, using the same data set na ginamit natin sa logistic regression. So, irarun ko na lang lahat ito kasi natapos ko na importing libraries and built in collab with local data upload. reading the data set and this is the data set head Ayan. and number of rows and columns of train set so meron tayong 400 rows and 3 columns and importing necessary modules yan kailangan yan and then loading data which is we need the iris and also creating features and target arrays split into training and test set predict on data set which model has not seen before then calculate the accuracy of the model and this one is para sa kanyang confusion matrix so ito no so ito yung aking mga code and also the output ito yung aking output yan SVM or the support vector machine to create confusion matrix so ito muna yung mga in-install ko Scalern, Fantasy, Bermat, Pocklip, and Nampel. And then importing the libraries. Build in color with local data upload. Importing the data set. Printing the target. Importing the required modules for data visualization. Ito na siya, not purchase and purchase. And then training and testing data. Importing standard scalar. Importing SVM module. Testing the model. Importing accuracy score. Importing the modules and plotting the figure. Assigning the input values, plotting the linear graph, plotting scattered graph for the values, and labeling the graph. And then a plotting graph of size 7 by 7. Designing the testing data set. And, and, and then plotting the predicted graph. And also plotting scattered graph for the testing values. And labeling the graph. So, ito na siya. And then dito na yung 
SVM module natin. Which is 0.93 yung kanyang accuracy. And also, gagawa ulit tayo ng mas maayos. We're in malabel na yung purchase versus non-purchase, estimated salary, and then the purchase. So, ito na siya. Ito naman yung ating classification report. And, ito na yung ating confusion matrix. So, ito lang guys. And, thank you for watching.